Hey nerdlings, it's your girl JLove81 and you're watching Do You Nerd? All right, so uh, we decided to to move things up a little bit because VGM is always sending us so many games that look how full those shelves are getting. Let's open it. So this is our video games monthly box. What's Video Game Monthly? Funny you should ask. Video Games Monthly is a service that sends retro games straight to you. You hop on their website, which a link in the description below will take you there, and you choose which systems you would like games for. And you let them know which games you already have in your collection so they don't send you any duplicates. And then you send them back after you play them. No way, Jose. What? Your name's not even Jose. No, it's not. But you get to keep those games. Doesn't that sound nice? That does sound nice. Let's see what's in here. So something that Lady Lacey likes to do is to blindly hand them to me. Although sometimes she opens it up and she keeps me waiting for the good stuff. I do. Like this. <laughs> so this is a card that tells you, hey, take a picture of the games that you got. Share it on our social media. And you might win some free games. And this is a card that tells you, get in there update that list and we won't send you games that you already have you ready for your up Ooh. so we have a one up we subscribe to the three games a month box so we should have four bits of retro gaming goodness in there you ready for the uh free prize i am are you ready to chow down oh no hashtag eat the gum oh hashtag don't eat the gum Okay, so something fun that VGM does is they put a little something extra in there. Could be bracelets, could be pencils, could be sunglasses, and it could be packs of cards. They've sent these cards out to before, and these come with a stick of gum. And we knew before mm, we got that from them, though, that you don't, don't eat the gum. <laughs> don't eat the gum. <laughs> but we still ate it anyway. I don't. The, the face you're making. I don't know if I want to eat it. Oh. Is that gross? That's pretty gross. <laughs> oh no. It's just evaporating. It's not becoming gum at all. It evaporated. There's no flavor. It's powder. It, it just melted. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. There's a flavor. It tastes like... <laughs> mm. It tastes like old electronics. It's bad. It's so bad. A terrible idea. Why did you let us do that? And they commented on the video. Hashtag don't eat the gum. <laughs> I say hashtag eat the gum again. Oh no. Now uh, these are from 1989, by the way. So that's yeah. that's how delicious that gum was. Mm -hmm. Now these are sealed, however, in Mr. and Mrs. Weston's peculiar home for wayward games and extraordinary consoles, aka the name of the game room. We don't Nothing leave things is sealed. sealed. <gasps> ah, it's nerds everywhere screaming. It's not even broken. Oh, oh did you hear that? It's like a bone breaking. I, I don't. <laughs> it smells weird. <laughs> I just can't ah! eat the gum. No, I'm not doing it this time. No. It was too gross last time. Oh, I got some of the powder. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Maybe, maybe, you know what we need to do? This ice bath challenge thing keeps going around and everything, and we got tagged twice. No! I'm thinking... No, 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 no. New challenge for all you YouTubers. No, because <laughs> someone's going to get sick and die from this, and I don't want that to Not be the legacy of Do You Hurt. Oh, seriously. I got some of the powder. <laughs> it's awful. Do I lick my fingers? All right, no. <laughs> so these are not cards. These are tattoos. Tattoos! And you get a whole sheet of them. So you've got uh, everything from a pokey. Um, I don't like it when you call it the pokey. A pal and a fanto. Uh, Mario's suffering from a golden shower. Oh my. <laughs> Looks like Link has some new armor on right here. Ooh, nice. You got a ladybug, which I think were called hoop stars in the manual. 
Uh, Mario trying out for the Olympic Games. <laughs> you got uh, Mouser looking like he's twerking. Mario on some roller skates. And then you Wait, have... Sonic the Hedgehog's little brother. It is, yeah. I think that's Knuckles the Hedgehog. It's... They had a baby together. <laughs> Sonic and Knuckles had a baby. And then a bullet bill and a piranha plant. So, uh, yeah. What do you think? I'm just going to sleeve, sleeve myself up. Yeah. <laughs> just do a whole sleeve. Get that game away. <laughs> Alright, you ready for your first game? I am ready. Sega. Sega. Dreamcast. Not what I was expecting. <laughs> I know, I love doing it to you. <laughs> so, we have Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. And I know that that was a uh, pretty big series back in the day. I'm very curious to see how the graphics have held up on this because, uh, you know, Dreamcast days, it was, you know, we're still kind of in that weird 3D era. But something interesting is with Eagle Watch missions. Hmm. So I don't know if that's like a, uh, like a DLC or something like, um, an extra pack yeah, I don't in. Know. So that can like be an expansion kind pack? of neat. And of course it is complete. And that disc looks very nice. I don't know that anyone played this Rainbow Probably Six. because everybody homebrewed their oh, Dreamcast stuff. That is a fair point. <laughs> so it's always nice to get some Dreamcast games. Alright, you ready for another Sega? Heck. Uh, a GameCube game, Sonic Riders. You know, I remember seeing the Sonic games like these. By the way, Not no booklet, but we do have the disc. Looks like it might have been uh, polished up a little, or maybe that's just the front. But I remember thinking these things were weird because it's like, why is Sonic on stuff to race? And I think these are like like skateboards or hoverboards yeah, on this one. Yeah, he's already fast. But exactly. So it's like he doesn't need something to get around fast. I tell you what, it would have been a lot of fun if they made games like this and other people are like in carts or on their boards, but Sonic was just like running just on his feet. <laughs> I think that would have been good. So this will be neat and yeah. one to four players. So we can... Uh, have a little Mario Kart, not Mario Kart action, I guess. Ready for your next one? Ready. Nintendo don't. So Sega again. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. Mickey, Mickey Mania. Mania. And so we've got it complete. The, the case, the booklet, the cartridge. Everything looks pretty nice. Uh, have you ever played this one? I have not. So a very, very good friend of mine, he had this game. And I grew up it Super Nintendo, fun. he grew up Sega Genesis, we didn't care. There was no feud between us, it was whoever's house we were at that weekend, that's what you played. There was no Sega Nintendo animosity. But Mickey Mania, this game is so much fun. First of all, you go through a bunch of Mickey's adventures, like from his movies. Uh -huh. You start off in Steamboat Willie. Oh, neat. And the whole stage is in black and white. You even oh, see cool. Mickey in the steamboat. And does he do that weird, like, bouncy, like... He does. Dancing, bouncing, where, like, his legs and hips are moving, but the rest <laughs> of him's not moving, and you're like, why are you not moving normal? But, uh, <laughs> and then you, you go to other stages, you, uh... You go to this one stage where it's like a mad scientist lair, and there's this great effect where you're climbing this tower, and there mm -hmm. are these like spike balls coming down, but the tower's rotating the whole time, oh. and it's kind of like a mode seven effect. Although I don't think Sega had mode seven, but uh, there's another stage where it's almost like hand painted oh, the visuals of it, and there are some moose. I think that's the plural term of moose, actually. It's like like, Deer? bunch of moose but you have to watch out for them uh it's not like mice. no that would be mice moose and mice but you have a bunch of uh so you have to watch out moose. for the moose but pluto pluto is there to warn you when they're coming he'll sniff around and you have to watch out because they'll run through but then they also do kind of another it's almost like a mode seven where you're running at the screen and like the moose are running towards oh. you and you have to avoid them but it is it's a lot of fun it is tough though it's hmm, at least it, it like was back in the day 
But uh, yeah, I, don't know. That, I think we've learned by playing retro games that they're still hard. They weren't just like we were little kids and they were hard. <laughs> it's like no, they made games harder back then. But that first stage alone, I was always mesmerized by that because Mickey is in color, but the rest of it's in black and white. And I don't know, it just I always loved it. Well, that's, that's really cool. Awesome. That's very cool. All right. Well, unfortunately, your one up breaks up the Sega. No. Oh, so triple Sega love, and then a Game Boy game, brain and bender. Brain Bender. I have never heard of this game before, but going off of the cover, um, clearly... It looks like a cyborg or something. It looks like... That's kind of a face, so I'm thinking that somebody... <gasps> oh, you're right. Somebody peeled away Max Hedrum's skin... Whoa. And now they're doing, like, some kind of computerized brain surgery on him. Yeah, well, apparently they didn't think you were going to be very smart because they said this side out. <laughs> yeah, well, look at this uh, ball over here. Is that Pepsi? Yes. So. That's interesting. I am willing to bet that is not what the game is about. Max Headroom brain surgery. <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> but we will have to check it out. Want some gum? If it's called Brain Bender, I'm guessing it's a puzzle game of sorts. So, this is a pretty good box. This was a good box. It was very Sega E. Yeah. Hey, I'm fine with yeah. that. It's uh, kind of fun. I kind of wish that the 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 that it was all like Sega something. That that would have been, been good. Fun. <laughs> but uh, I mean, these are all things that I love to get. Uh -huh. Handheld games are always pricey in our area. We yeah. never see. Dreamcast stuff or GameCube stuff for that matter. Yeah. Unless it's like a sports title. Yeah. So having something that breaks that up is always nice. And then having a game from my past is very cool, which I'm a little disappointed I didn't already have that game. Yeah. I did notice though someone cut off the tabby. Oh. So I guess it's not totally complete then if we don't oh, have the tabby. Well. well, nerdlings, I would love to hear what you think. Who's that for? Jayla! Remember, lady like bubbles. <laughs> lady like bubbles. I would love to hear your take on any of these games. If you played some Rainbow Six on Dreamcast, or was it Sonic Riders? Yeah. Mickey Mania, especially if you played Mickey Mania. Or what the heck, brain? Whatever that was. Yeah, Max brain? Hedrum Brain Surgery game. Render. Uh, and if you happen to get VGM, did you try the gum? Hashtag, Hashtag don't eat, eat the, the gum. gum. Don't eat the gum. <laughs> eat the gum. And did you try the tattoos? <laughs> but I'd uh, love to hear some comments about any of this stuff. Links below so you can go check out VGM for yourself. And if you live across the pond where they don't send VGM, it's all right. Just keep letting them know how much yes. you would love for it to be over there. And, and who knows? Maybe, maybe someday. On it. Who knows? Maybe someday they'll listen to you guys. <laughs> uh, give the video a like if you happen to like it. Subscribe. I'm, I'm sorry. I keep looking at the Mickey game. I want to go play Mickey <laughs> Mania. <laughs> Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when new videos are coming out. I think I know what you're doing while I'm making dinner. I think so. <laughs> don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so that you can see when a video has dropped on YouTube because sometimes they just don't tell you. And so you know what we're doing out and about in the real world because we've got a whole bunch of stuff coming your way and lots of places that we're going to go visit coming your way. And go over to Tee Public and get our shirts because we got shirts coming your way. <laughs> And nerdlings, coming your way if we like it. We nerd it. Oh, oh boy. Wow, that was a good Mickey. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey Bones. I like <laughs> got one more for you. I don't know this. The fireworks again. Hey nerdlings, just on a side note, we actually had one of those games not work for us properly. Sonic Riders. Which was and, sad. It kind of messed up our uh, Sega Yeah, run. a little bit. <laughs> um, and of course, you know, uh, disc games can be a little finicky anyway. Yeah. I actually got in touch with VGM and literally within like two minutes of me doing that, they got back with me. Now, I was actually just asking them if they had any more tips to try out. I tried it on the GameCube and on the Wii. It didn't work on either one. Other games did, so it wasn't a console issue. Uh, regardless, they said we're going to make this right, and they did. And they really did. And we got it, what, like two days later? Oh, yeah. Like, it was super fast. It just goes to show that when they say, hey, let us know if something doesn't work, 
Seriously, let them know because they make things right. They don't want to, you know, just throw out crap games out there. Yeah, so, I mean, they definitely take care of people. And uh, since they send out random games, we didn't get Sonic Riders. But check this out. Zur. So we got a Super Nintendo game. Oh, and an alien. Got it in a, first of all, a nice clamshell case yeah, with some awesome. uh, some artwork on there, which looks really nice. And the cartridge looks fantastic. Does, yeah. And, as you can see... It works perfectly. So, just wanted to say, uh, so we didn't have Sonic Riders in our final uh, batch of games from VGM, but we did get Zool, so thank you guys very much. I really appreciate it. And we will be sure to update our list putting this game in there Definitely. so that we don't get it again. <laughs> All right, let's uh let's go find Dana and start bothering her with Zoom. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!